Hi, it's Maria. Happy Monday and welcome to the Dressing Gown Diaries. So I have just spent at least 20 minutes walking around my house to try and find some way to explain um, what I was shown earlier on. And you know, it's really a reminder for us. I'm not going to tell you anything you don't know already, but certainly for me, it's helped me to get this um, on a new level. So basically, um, okay, if this is the experience that you are looking for in your life, um, and this is you, the human way that we normally do things, and it's so hardwired into us, is that we keep on like efforting and doing more things and adding more bits to ourselves. So this is just the blue tech, um, adding more bits to ourselves. Uh, to try and go after this because we think that you know we can get it and and then it's gonna work um, and it's a lot of effort and it doesn't always feel right and it doesn't always fit right when we get there but really if this is you uh, I'm gonna put this bit down for a second this is us we don't fit with that experience at the moment uh, and that sense of completion. But if we start to take away everything that's fake, so whether it's your fake beliefs or your fake relationships or the mask you present in the world, when you take these things away, not only are you now the right fit for your right experiences, but the other really interesting thing that it's kind of the I've just got the aha about it is that um you actually become by being your your pristine true self you become the magnet for what everything is that is the right fit for you um and then it works and it works perfectly and it's seamless and it's effortless and it's comfortable and you're complete um and so, so the, our journey now is really to identify these things and you know we can know all this in theory and again this is something that's been going on for me over the weekend I've been uh, working on feng shui in my house again and so like I actually have my certification I can go into somebody else's house and clear their house and give them all the remedies and get them to put them in place but I'm not doing it for myself and so I started in my bedroom and it was really interesting because, you know, you're not supposed to have a picture by yourself in your bedroom, nor are you supposed to have pictures of your family in your bedroom. It should be couple type pictures if you're looking for a relationship. And I've got a picture in my bedroom, or I had up to last weekend, of me all by myself, aged 18. So obviously I'm stuck somewhere back there. Uh, so I took that picture out and then as soon as I had that done then I felt like cleaning and clearing and getting rid of a whole load of other things so it's amazing just by even moving one or two things in your space how you know it starts to move the energy and then the energy works with you to clear things and um, so my question to you is like what do you know how to do um, in terms of applying tools and techniques to help you that you know to clear away anything that's not authentic um, so you can be more real and actually be open to all your right experiences because it goes back to two things that I'm always saying. One is real is the next big trend and you just can't fake it. And the other side of it is like, do you really want to wake up dead and realize, you know, you could have enjoyed life so much more if you were yourself. But the other thing is <clears throat> reading the recipe book, never bake the cake. And we all have so much knowledge, but if we're not applying it, it's not doing us any good. So that actually works perfectly then with, as usual, the question for the week for anybody who's doing the reflection uh, on lockdown series, the learning from lockdown reflections. Uh, and question six this week is, how do I want my life to be going forward? And definitely for me, I'm going to be writing that now, going into the new moon, because it's the perfect time to be setting intentions. But I'm going to be very much working about how to release all that is not me so that I can be more authentic in the world so finally just to pick a card to support us for the week ahead um, quickly give them a shuffle here uh, and see what card we have <laughs> this does actually suit really well with it 
So what am I really afraid of? And that's often the reason why we don't apply the knowledge that we have. It's like, what if, um, you know, I, I become whole, but I don't feel I deserve it. Or um, what if I get what I want and it's actually not what I want at all. And then I'm back at square one all over again. So there's always some reason why we're blocking the stuff on ourselves. And we all know this. I'm not telling it. You didn't know already. But if you write this question down, what am I really afraid of? The answer will come in and then you'll be able to address it for yourself. And um, I have my permission to honour my truth and follow my dreams. It's a bit harder for me to see it without my glasses on. So that's what you need to do is give yourself permission to follow, to honour your truth and follow your dreams. And that is such the perfect card for what I have just been sharing with you. So I hope that made sense for you. The other lovely thing that I was reminded of this morning by finding this is that um, as a small girl in my grandparents' house, I always had my eye on this and my granny, if I was really good, would let me play with it. Um, and I always, you know, kind of thought, oh, I'd love to have that. Uh, and so it's amazing, even as small children, when we had our wishes and our intentions, how eventually they manifested because I inherited this a few years ago um, when my mum was moving back to her parents' house. Uh, so in the last eight years, but like so 40 something years later, what I had my eye on turned up. Anyway, look, that's it for me for this week. What I would say is that if it's your first time listening to this video or if you haven't managed to do all of the questions in learning from lockdown i'll have the link for the other questions below here for you as well so look wherever you are have a great week do have a good think about how you, you can apply the knowledge you have so that we're all moving forward and we're all showing up as our most authentic selves because that's going to be the quickest way uh, for this quantum leap that i think is coming in the world so wherever you are, have a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you in another video again soon. Take care. Bye.